Uh, but, but folks, the football is really marvellous, isn't it really? I get upset with what I see now. And it's been mentioned a couple of times about the way the game is played. I think overusing the ball. And when we were talking today with Jeffrey Pollard before, we talked about free smarts. Like the players nowadays have got terrific big tests. They can do the, hey, the spring jump and all that sort of stuff. And their skin fold is great. But as far as actually knowing football, thick as bricks. They keep on trying to give a hand pass off this fellow when he, they can see he's going to be grabbed by the fellow next to him. I go home being upset with what I see. Somebody wrote me a paper, and I hope they gave it to the 16 other league coaches. I hope they did. It was the important things on winning Australian rules football. They gave the most points to quick, long, direct kicks into the forward line. The second most important thing in AFL football is running, carrying the ball. I thought it must be something new. Yeah, I watch my team, the Tigers. I'm a demented Tiger supporter, folks. I was born in Richmond. My parents, grandparents, I played there and coached them, as you folk would know. And I keep in touch with all those boys. That's the great part of our sport. The fact that the camaraderie, respect and things like that. But I keep in touch. But I was watching our Tigers play the Blues first match of the year. Halfway through the third, first quarter, second quarter, folks, we are five goals down against Carlton. Who wouldn't beat Sandy Point? Where are Sandy Point? You hear what I'm coming from? Well, Sandy Point. Both said that 25 goals down halfway through the second quarter, we have had 50 more handballs than kicks. Would you believe at the end of the day it was 185 handballs, 185 kicks, and we won by five goals? In the second half, we started kicking the ball long down to Matthew Richardson, who was that much taller than his opponent, that much wider and a lot more skillful. We kicked 11 goals too and won by 5 goals. It nearly speaks for itself, folks, that I've got to put up with all that other crap that we see week in, week out. And I often wonder, what, is anybody there to tell them what to do? But I just think it's to do with so many coaches, so many coaches, and the coaches are there four and five hours a day bringing up little things that probably got nothing to do with winning football, but letting everybody see that I've got a degree in football smart, and everybody else is a bit. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Anyway, look, yeah, football, I, folks, I just often wonder, and I know these statistics, I can remember counting 53 AFL players who came from Tasmania in the early 90s. 53. 92, 93. North Hobart had 10. And Devonport had 8. And last year I counted, I think, there were 17. So I'm not quite certain what's happening.